ALI stands for the African American Achievement and Leadership Initiative. It was an initiative that was formed in 2015 when I was brought on by the superintendent to think about how do we interrupt an inequitable pattern of outcomes for African American students, looking at everything from academic achievement scores to high school graduation rates, to even just the feeling of belonging and connectedness our African American students and families have within our schools. The narrative for African American students, definitely it was a lot of deficit-based talking. So the students are under all of these different types of constraints. Um, it was still quite positive. It didn't necessarily say the children were the fault, but it did place the fault on the communities. It did place the fault on um, not being able to do enough. And if anything, there was just a sense of hopelessness around how to support African American students. But through the work that we're doing, both in establishing a counter narrative to that, through our events and what we exhibit in terms of black student excellence, is really transforming the mindsets within the school sites. Ali is an expansive initiative. It's expansive because we realize how multifaceted our solution needs to be to best support our African-American students and families. A lot of our work started around family engagement. So we have our African-American Parent Advisory Council that focuses on building parent leadership and advocacy within the district. We focus on enhancing curriculum for our African-American students through our Manhood Development Program and our African-American Women's Heritage course. So in those courses, we have dedicated curriculum focused on African-American history and identity. And then we focus at the high school level through an effort called the African-American Post-Secondary Pathway, where we're really intent on making sure that our African-American students graduate from high school eligible to go to a University of California or California State University school. And programs within that include our Black Star Rising Summer Program, Ali Advance, which the Hellman Foundation supports, and then our partnerships with organizations like Beyond 12, 100% College Prep, Mo Magic, and SF Achievers. 100% College Prep is an organization that serves middle school and high school students, making sure that these young people are prepared for post-secondary educational opportunities. When I thought about starting this program, our community was in really bad shape. Matter of fact, the location where we are now, when we first moved in, there was gang activity a block in each direction. So we felt like through this work, if we got our young people to see that preparing for their futures were so important, if we could bring them back to our neighborhoods, educated, great citizens, you know, ready to do work in our community, then we win, you know, because their success is our success. And that's why an initiative like Ali is so important because yeah, we could do a lot on the block, but we need to also be in the schools. Along with the work that we do directly um, in school sites, we also help to organize and coordinate district-wide events to connect our African-American students to more um, opportunities for college and career and to give them that exposure. We held an event in the fall called the Historically Black College and University Fair, um, which brought out hundreds of African-American students from throughout the district, many of them 12th graders who are getting ready to go on to college, but also 9th through 11th graders that are just looking to get a jump start on what are the options for them once they graduate from high school. So events like the HBCU Fair um, provide students with exposure to a four-year institutions and what that can look like, as well as showing our students that there are people who look just like you at all of these different institutions achieving their dreams and working hard every day. I just got accepted by three colleges, Tuskegee, Lincoln, and Harris and stuff. Every single year that we hold this event, we see many of our students getting offers to two, three, four, five different colleges. Um, we see um, students receiving um, at times full scholarships, sometimes one-year scholarships to go to these institutions. And in terms of the mindset shift that that promotes for the students, it tells them that, wow, I am <laughs> a prospective college student. I am someone that can be at these campuses. So just that level of um, affirmation that they get from having those conversations and um, talking to these individuals that can envision 
them on those college campuses starts to shift their mindsets so they too can see themselves on those campuses. There is still a tremendous need um, within um, our schools and within our school district for there to be targeted focused work for African American students. Our hopes are to um, ultimately take this program Ali Advance and extend that to additional school sites. Right now we're in three comprehensive high schools. Um, we'd like to be in another three next year and another three the year after that um, as we're learning lessons about how to best do this work. And lastly, we also um, want to continue to deepen our partnerships with community organizations because we know there are so many allies within San Francisco to do this work. And we think it is our responsibility to make sure that we're bringing a lot of folks into the table to help amplify the work that we're doing.